Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the element of video series. In this video, we will see how to add the video playlist on your website. So this is the video playlist. You can see I have added six videos in the playlist. So people will be able to click on any video and it will play the video. If the video is already watched, it will show the tick mark on the video playlist. People will come to know that that video is already watched. It will also highlight the video in the playlist when you are watching it. So in order to use this video playlist, you will need Elementor Pro plugin. So this is the feature of Elementor Pro plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, we have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin installed. Now, this is the page where I'm going to add the video playlist on the Elementor website. So in order to use the video playlist, you will need Elementor Pro plugin installed on the website. Let me add a new section here. And let's add some padding to the top and bottom. And in this section, we are going to add the playlist. Click on the plus sign and here search for video. And here you will see the option video playlist. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. Okay, so this is the basic layout of the video playlist. Now here you will see the options for the playlist. Okay, now here you will see the playlist. Okay, so this is the name of the playlist. You can change it from here. Let's say my playlist and you will see the name here. Okay, so this is the sample video. So I'm going to add some videos here, list of videos. And this is the link of the video so you can see this is the link and this is the name of the video that I want to show and this is YouTube video so you can add YouTube a Vimeo self-hosted or section videos so self-hosted is that you can upload the video on your website and you can put the link of your video on the website here so in this case right now I'm going to use all the YouTube videos to create a playlist so this is the first video to add the second video you can go to the second tab and enter the name the title of the video and the link the youtube video link go to third one let me add more so i'm going to click on add item this is the title and this is the link one more add item add item So I have added six videos and you can see the list of videos here. All right now, let me update it. And let's refresh it so that it will show the new thumbnails. Right now it is showing the default thumbnails. Okay, now let's go to the settings of this one. We have added six videos here and here it shows the duration. You can change or you can delete the duration from there. Or you can manually add the duration of the video. Okay, now let's go to the next option tabs we do not actually need this option let's go to image overlay if you want to show overlay image you can show the overlay image like this click on show and it will show you can show the image so let's see i'm going to select this one and it will show this overlay image here so you can see that for the start of this video you will see this overlay image Additional options. So let's see the layout. You can show the video to the right or to the left. Auto play. So when you load the page, it will start playing the video. Next up, it will show next video. Indicate to watch video. So it will indicate which videos you have already watched. Okay, so there will be a check mark or any icon. It will be shown on this video. I'll show you that. Video count. How many videos? Here you will see the video count six videos if you want to disable you can disable it the duration it will show the duration here you will need to put it manually here like here here you can add the duration according to the video you can add the duration 
okay i'm going to disable this overlay okay additional options the duration thumbnails these are the thumbnails you can disable the thumbnails and it will not show the thumbnails okay now let's see play icon so this is the icon for the play so i'm going to keep it as it is and this is for the watch icon so it will show the icon here whichever video you watched already it will show the icon here lazy load you can enable or disable so this is lazy load will show the actual video when you scroll down to that section of the video okay now let's go to the styles section height of the layout so if you can change the height from here okay, i'm not going to change it so i'll prefer to show the default layout the top bar here you will see my playlist you can change the title color this one and this is for the video count this one okay videos now this is the item this is the item you can change the color to black duration so if you show the duration it will be in green icon so you will see the icon color here i have just changed it let's change it to let's say red okay, this one looks good okay size you can change the icon size from here separator you can also use this separator let's say solid and you will see solid line here these are the separator settings sections you do not actually need this tabs also you do not need it so let's see how does this look so we have got six videos here let's see how does this look on the mobile so this is how it will look on the mobile All right now let's close this one and update it okay now let's see how does this look on the actual page so this is the playlist now let's click on the video Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. The All right now let's move on to the next one. From here you can just move on to the next one. Now here you can see you can click on this get video data and it will get the thumbnails and all the settings from here. So you need to just go to that video click on get video data on all of them so that it will pick up the thumbnail of that particular video okay so it will show the time and duration thumbnail everything will be collected so let's click on update let's go back to the page and refresh it now here you will see the thumbnail of the the actual thumbnail of the video as well as the time duration for each and every video all right so this is how you can add the video playlist in elementor using elementor pro so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips